Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sid Jones. I am here with Make My Motherfucking Day. Scum and insane poetry all the way from Colorado. Scum. What's up, yo? Got a question for you. What's the question, brother? You're from Russia, correct? That is correct. What is the music scene like over there? It's getting a lot better, man. When, when, when I moved and shit, <clears throat> we're fucking with a lot of death metal, which I love death metal. I grew up on that shit, but... Now, there's a lot of battle rap over there. There's some good-ass horrorcore coming out of mainly, like, the Siberian region and shit. Fucking in St. Petersburg, you got MC Val and shit. Fucking part of GRE, she's killing shit out there. There's some fucking, you know, um, Scrabble Bowl and shit. There's, there's some good horrorcore fucking that's starting to come up there. Definitely church-controlled state and shit, and things are a little different, but the shit's still alive out there. And, you know, much love to everybody in Russia that fucks with our music. Insane poetry, sir. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from the West Coast, Southern Cali. You know what it is, representing all day, every day. But, you know, this is how we do. I had a second career with the one and only Gore Father here. So we up in the 303, representing Denver, Mile High City, really hard. You know, this is how the Triple MFD was born from the, the Mile High. So, yeah, that's, you know. But I'm from the West Coast, though. Shout out to all my uh, West Coast vets out there that know what time it is. Oh, geez. So, gentlemen, being from two different sides of the world, how did you guys come together to do all this? Man, this fucking underground music and shit. Like, I've been, I've been fucking with the same poetry shit since when he dropped Faith and Chaos, and that, that show was my shit. So, <coughs> we brought him out to Denver where my people teamed up and shit. And from there on, we knocked out this joint called Generation X, which was the first technically, you know, beginning of the Triple MFD thing and shit about 12 years ago. And then we did Soldier, which was our second single. And then eventually just kept fucking working together and shit. And then, you know, St. Poetry got signed to LSP. He dropped some releases, some solo releases. We dropped Random Acts of Violence and shit in 2013. Dropped on subs a couple of years ago. And then Butcher Brothers. And now we're working on the fourth one together and shit. Just, you know, melting fucking styles and genres and fucking redefining the snuff shit. It, it, it's a beautiful thing. Let me be honest with you. Uh, doing solo music for quite a long time, it's easier to do it with a lot of uh, creative minds around you, and me and him have the same kind of mind state, so it's, e it's actually easier for us doing music together, and we bounce off each other, and we've known that from the first time we did a record together, so it's only natural for us to have uh, got this far, and you know, people are excited, we bring energy, we bring that ravenous behavior on, on the mic and in our music, so you know, may it's, maybe it's not for everyone, but we, would we want that savage beast you know, that type shit. We're not trying to please everybody. You're just trying to get the motherfuckers to understand that uh, what, what I bring to the table, what he brings to the table, but when we bring it together, it, it's that it's that energy. It's that can't fuck with it energy. And that's what we do. That's Triple MFD, make my motherfucking day. That's what insane poetry and scum represent together. I noticed that uh, some of your music actually has socioeconomic messages to it. Pigs, for instance, uh, talking about, you know, the cops that are just, you know, being cops and not doing their jobs i was gonna say man like pigs there's a disclaimer in the beginning of that video for a fucking reason i've nothing against cops that are being cops and doing their fucking job we got kids and shit you know what i'm saying motherfuckers gotta fucking catch chomos out there and shit fucking lock them up and shit you know motherfucker breaks into your fucking whip and shit be nice if the fucking 5-0 rolled up and shit and fucking stopped them we're talking about corrupt crooked pigs and shit we're talking about the motherfuckers that see my, myself or this motherfucker and pull you over just because of the way you fucking look and shit. The motherfuckers that build charges that are not really fucking true. There's a difference between a cop and a pig. I fucking hate pigs. I have nothing against cops. There you have it right there, man. I'm from I'm from the West Coast where the shit went down. I, I'm just saying the energy around uh, from where I'm from, uh, the LAPD and, and the community out there from even to the stretches all across Southern California um, anybody can relate. I, I come from the NWA days, fuck the police, so you already understand what, what the meaning of this shit is. It ain't stopped. It ain't never changed. It ain't nothing changed. It's just people are more aware because we have social media now. Yeah, and, and I like you said about social media and the times that have changed. Uh, how? What do you guys feel about the, the music sphere right now, the, the scene that's happening now versus when you guys probably first got into it? Man. You know what? Shit changed completely. There's a lot more division and shit, but, you know, we're going to fucking overcome that shit. Shit's been up and down for years. Um, everything changed, man. Like, the fucking physical CDs are fading away and shit. It's all digital world. Back in the day, motherfuckers would travel halfway across the country to see an artist they fucking fuck with and shit. 
to see them because they're doing two shows a year and fucking now everybody is touring because you have to and shit. The scene has evolved, but it's definitely alive and well. And motherfuckers for years been saying horrorcore is dead, wicked shit is dead. And yeah, we do this for a living fucking year after year and shit. And you know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers come and fuck with us and we appreciate y'all for it and shit. The scene is alive and well. And to uh, make an addendum on that, um, let's, let's just be real. We're out here, um, groups such as ourselves, such as Axe, AXE, man, they, they just opening up, kicking in the fucking door of this new modern era of wicked shit. And so we, we supporting the fuck out of that. That's what it, that's what's really what's cracking right now. We appreciate these guys being able to, uh, to you know, break in and bring something different to the game. And that w- allows us to show how different we bring to the game because we don't sound like nobody. You know, we know that. See, I, I, I recall listening to you back in, in, the, in the golden age of 2013, 2014, Mr. Zippa Face, when that came out. And, and the scene was different then, too. And I just want to know, when, when you guys started off and uh, today, what is your advice for today's music artists, people trying to get involved in the music industry with it being cutthroat as it is? Man, just don't get comfortable to a formula. You find something that works, roll with it fucking adjust with the times adjust with what, what what's happening and shit you can't fucking the second you get comfortable you die the second you fucking take a few months off and shit you die you you have to stay active and shit it's not a part-time job i feel that fucking if it's a hobby probably don't do it unless you got some bread and you're not tripping about fucking spending it on something you love but if it's something like you're serious about and passionate about just fucking you know what i'm saying you have to be at it 24 7 not just fucking on the stage not just in the studio and shit and then the shit carries off it's fucking worth it yeah and and as he was saying you know uh, adapting to uh, adapting to the times really in business that's called move the cheese move moving the cheese is adapting to the to your environment um we've i'm 52 here in another month you know what i'm saying so I know I've moved the cheese. <laughs> that's some real shit. So I'm just saying, and shout out to everybody that's still doing it, remain doing it with, with me and my brother. We out here representing the dudes that really don't have a voice that's, that haven't been able to get to the level we can get to to do it, but we speak for them. And really what I say is stay yourself as a young artist. Stay yourself. Don't do what the other motherfuckers do. Do what you do. Create that lane and build your brand. That's what I'm going to tell you right there. You know, the, the other thing and shit, he, he just ended with that. Build your own and shit. Don't fucking spend the whole time trying to fucking fit a mold that another company built. Don't try to fucking, you know, dedicate your whole fucking career to getting signed with some label. Build build you. You know, LSP fucking, we fuck with a lot of people in this scene. We got a respect for a lot of people in this scene and shit. We network with everybody. But <coughs> we weren't out there chasing contracts. We build our own brand and shit, and we continue building it every day. So if you're up and coming and shit, do you, man. Don't 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 worry about what everybody else is doing. Fucking build up your shit and it's gonna pay off. So what can we expect from Make My Motherfucking Day here in the future? Well, as soon as we complete this tour, we start we already started on the fourth album and shit before we left. So as soon as this tour is done, we're getting back in the lab and we're working and working and working and shit. We're gonna fucking get this album knocked out. I got a solo coming out this year. The same post you got a solo coming out this year, and before the year is up, there will be a new Make My Motherfucking Day and another tour. Yes, indeed. Uh, I just to add an addendum to that. Um, I I just I say what he says is you know we, we we're definitely working and we continue to work, and we're just gonna keep doing music and, and keep putting music out as as much as we can to stay relevant in the game. Shout out to Dusty. Dusty, indeed. Word up. Shout out to my boys on this tour, man. Everybody from the uh, from the production team to the staff. Uh, my boys A and B, A, X, E, uh, Rick, Murph, uh, Jim Job, Lynch, um, everybody involved in our in our thing. For we got 30, uh, 30 more days, five, five weeks of this. More days. 32 more dates. And we're gonna rock out, bro. We're gonna give them the hardcore shit. This is they're supposed to be the underground, biggest underground shit. We're trying to do that and, and live up to that shit. He said it. I'm just co-signing. Hell's up. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sid Jones here with Make My Motherfucking Day. Make sure you're checking out the tours near you for the shows, live performances, great-ass merch, and so much more. And we're going to keep you guys tuned in here on Rocks TV. Fuck. Fuck yeah, yo. You know what I'm saying? Close it out. Shout out to everybody fucking with LSP. Shout out to the fucking squad and shit. Fucking the whole label and shit. Motherfuckers out there grinding and shit. Much love and respect to everybody behind the scenes that you don't see and shit. Shout out to Rocks TV and shit. L's up. 
Team Snuff, we're out. I go by the one and only Insane Poetry. Shout out to Rocks TV.